Awards have been likened to the Oscars and are probably the most important night of the year for the American fashion scene. Normally a high security event filled with major celebrities, this year's ceremony was even more so thanks to Princess Di. Her Royal Highness paid a visit amidst rumors that she was planning to move to New York and start working for a fashion magazine owned by Hearst Publications. How do you feel about the fact that the princess is here tonight? Is she paid her ticket? Glad to see her. <laughs> it's extremely exciting. I mean, we're all excited. All of New York is excited by, uh, by this evening. And, uh, and, and Princess Diana coming. And she's, uh, she's going to be part of New York, and, uh, and we're, we're honored and thrilled to have her tonight. For sure. Well, we have a lot of exciting residents in New York, and we'd certainly welcome her with open arms, wouldn't we? I have a great respect for her, and she's going through very tough years and times when I did go through, but she's strong, she's beautiful. She has a two ma magnificent kids. She's going to be all right. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm immensely proud to be here in New York tonight with you all to be giving this award to a lady from my own country who is also a dear friend and whose talent and courage has been an inspiration to us all. I would like to be with his child. No. Yes. <laughs> no. I doubt it. Definitely. Yeah. Why not? I'm a terrible mother. Yes, I would love her, yeah. Already am. Actually, I take it back. I'd like to be everyone's child. I'd like to be Liz Tobaris. Thank you so much. Your Royal Highness, ladies and gentlemen, I'm truly thrilled to receive this award from the CFDA. And I would also like to you thank you, ma'am, coming here so quickly over one night and for making this presentation. I'm deeply honored. Once again, thank you all so very, very much. Hi, I'm Roseanne. I'm so upset that I couldn't be there tonight, but I've been ordered by my doctor to bed rest. And I so wanted to be there to present my very dear friend, Kevin Aquin, with his Special Achievement Award. I know that some people winning an award for doing makeup may seem silly, but you see, in the context of my life, it means that I not only survived my past, but that I somehow succeeded. Thank you all very, very much for your time. <laughs> accept this award for uh, Sara Lee Corporation, uh, a uh, company uh, generally known for its uh, cheesecake. It's, it's, uh, it's truly uh, been a wonder. It's uh, lifted our industry. Uh, it has lifted Sara Lee. And of course, it has lifted our consumer. Thank you very much. Jackie Onassis is receiving a special award. What was it about her style that was so special? pure American style. She represented, Mrs. Onassis truly represented the 
the best and the greatest of American style. Tonight in the video you are about to see, we celebrate a woman whose contributions to the life of this nation will live through the ages. What was it about her style that you found so inspiring? I think she was the epitome of elegance and class, don't you? She had tragedies, but she carried them with so much dignity. And, uh, and so much beauty. She represented beauty. I say that fashion without accessories is like sex without orgasm. Thank you. I'm not interested in being remembered. I want to go out and do things. How would I like to be remembered? Oh, God, as a, as a writer of as an intelligent writer of English, I think. I look back on the work I've done with, with great pleasure. And I'm very happy about it. And sometimes I miss it. I'm, of course I miss it. I miss the people sometimes. But I did, I had a very full life in fashion. And it's time to move on. Ladies and gentlemen, not since the Supremes has there been a trio like this. I am proud to present the 1994 Lifetime Achievement Award to Carrie Donovan. Nani Moore. And Bernadine Morris. It's a great thrill and honor for me to present the 1994 CFDA Award for Women's Wear to Richard Tyler. Tonight really is the most amazing evening of my life. It really is a dream come true. Um, and it, it is, it's incredible. If the night proved anything, it's that the American fashion scene has taken on a life of its own. And what was once an award ceremony attended mostly by industry insiders, the CFDAs have now grown up and taken on mass appeal. Why uh, do you think that everyone is going so gaga over fashion? Um, I, I think it's like truly the art form for the 90s. I think uh, the movies were like at the beginning of the century and then television was sort of the middle of the century and now it's like, you know, Armani and women's shoes and things like that. You know, this is an industry that never had anybody, any catalyst. Nobody, everybody did their own thing. All of a sudden, people are beginning to understand that CFDA has Coming up on FT, Naomi's model mom, <laughs> Valerie Campbell.